I'm so glad you could join me today. We are going to clean bacala. So I'm going to make pastilla di bacala, which is fried bacala fritters. So I'm just going to take the bone out of it and I'm cutting them. So I just wanted to show you how I do that. I thought it'd be a good thing to, you could learn. There's something that I learned when I was young. I used to watch my mum and my nonna make that and clean it. Um, so, but I need my glasses because I can't see very close up. I can see like a hawk out far away, but close up, having issues. So, this is me with my specs. How do I look? <laughs> we'll go down here and we'll go to the bacala. So you can watch me. Watching to see if I've got any bones. I've already done a couple here. Another one, I take the skin off it. So I use my fillet fish and go right up there. Turn that around that way. Using the tip of my finger, it gives me the feeling that I've got the knife right up. Always being careful with the knife. Don't need the skin. So Bacala has bones in the middle of the fish. Let me just check that one's fine. They're not little bones, they're just big bones. So I'm going to take them out because when you've got to eat the fritters, you just want to eat the whole bacala. And you can feel it in your hands. Sometimes pens a bit harder to get out. This one's okay. As I said on the other video, bacala is a festive fish. Like stock fish is the same. Now I can feel it with my hands, my fingers, that there is there. And I can see the backbone. And this one has got none. Look at the beautiful chunk of meat in that. Be a beautiful fritter. If I cut them properly, I can just get through. That's a that's a bone there. You've got to be really delicate. See the bone? You don't want to chew onto that. With my fingers, I just feel my way to see if there's any more bones. Take that off. None. Bones are in the middle up from the back. Yeah. 
that's just part of the gut, stomach, the lining. Mum there. Gotta be really careful with this because it'll break. And you don't want it to break. I'll use that as a little fritter. There's so many ways you could do it. I've taken the skin off. This is probably an easier way. Always learn as you go. It's a bit of a bone, so I'm gonna take that back bit there. It's a bit dry, because we're getting to the tail end of the fish now. And the tail end has been salted and um, it becomes a little bit more drier. You don't really use that bit. It's a beautiful piece of meat, that one there. That could be, be easier if I do it that way. And as we get to the tail end, the bones change. This is the top end. It doesn't have any bones. If you've got a cat, feed them the rest of that. Just make sure you get rid of all the bones. You can feed them the skin and the bits of the bones. See, this is the tail end. You can see that the discoloration of the preserving, it's a little bit more yellowy. And the bones get littler. Wash my hands. And that's a wrap. That's how you clean buckler salted cod. Easy, because we're going to make frittelli, which is battered battered um, cod and I'm going to show you how I make a beautiful pastella which is made out of um, flour which is a batter which I make out of flour uh, if I haven't got mineral water today so I'm going to use soda water and I'm going to put some lemon and a bit of salt just a little bit because you don't want to I would rather add the salt after I fried the deep fried the calamari because uh, you can't take salt away so you can add it is better than taking salt away so i hope you enjoy how to clean bacala in this episode of my cooking bacala and showing you my family's way the sicilian way of cooking bacala i hope you really enjoyed it let me know if you have i would love some feedback your thoughts and um, I would love for you to be part of my community and subscribe to my channel. 
I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.